guys, Andy here, and I'm here to bring you all things Monday to makeup related. Let's survive. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and be part of my little slice of the internet. And in today's video, I'm bringing you my August roundup palettes and ranking. We're going to go through all the palettes I used in August. So if you want to hear all about that, let's go ahead and get on into it. Alright, so we only used eight palettes this month, which could have been better. But we'll get into why. I'm very happy with, one, how many times I did my makeup this month and the palette usage. Because I did it a lot. I feel like I did my makeup more in August than I have, like, the whole year. I am so elated. So, but also, can I just say... What's on my lips? Can we just talk about that for a second? It's this cream eyeshadow from Sydney Grace that I'm using as a lip product. And it's literally, it worked beautifully. I just dabbed it out with my finger. Dried instantly. Hasn't budged. Doesn't feel dry. Doesn't feel gross. Hasn't cracked. So, just saying. Just saying. But, eight palettes. Unless I state otherwise, because I tracked this month for the first time ever. Unless I state otherwise, every palette has been was only used once. So, Car Beauty Summer Days. This was my level two for the Project Level Up palette. This was used twice in the month of August. And this is the color story. Very, very pretty. There are some dud shades in here. I really don't like this. It's a satin, but it's not a good satin. Um, I think that these blues are too similar. This is a mint green, and I just feel like this doesn't go with the rest of the palette. And listen, I love glitters, but I just, I don't really like this glitter. And then I hate this shade. Trippy, trippy, fantastic, hippie do not love but the rest of the palette I know I don't like like half the palette but the other half of the palette I love like macho fantastic waterbed this is the other glitter and it's more of a just like your normal pressed glitter formula like this one has those like hexagon glitters like the chunky chunky glitters in it and I just I don't like that it is pretty on the face, on the eyes. I use my glitters on the eyes. Don't do it. I'm telling you not to do it. I do it. I take the risk. Do you. You do what you... Take your own risk. But I'm telling you not to do it. I love this black. I don't normally love black shades, but it's a black with, like, blue shimmer in it. And it's a... Like, it's it's a black shade. It's not gray, but it's buildable. Like, it's not crazy pigmented when you place it down. But it just doesn't compare. The reason it's at spot number eight, because normally I don't go this in depth, but I want to talk about these palettes. I don't want this video to be five minutes like normal. The reason it's in spot number eight is compared to literally everything else that I'm looking at, it just doesn't compare. Like I said, like I just told you, I literally only like half the palette. So it just doesn't compare to everything else I've used. And that is it. That is, that is that on the palette. So in spot number seven, we have my Morphe and Avani Gregg. This is the For the Bebs palette, which she's a big one. She looks like this. So we have shadows up here and then these are hydro liners. I will tell you, I have not used the Hydra Liners, and I have not used... There's only three shimmers, but I have not used the shimmers. But I've used a couple of the mattes in the palette. I used this brown, and I've used these purples. And I have to say, they're very nice. They're buildable, they're blendable, but they're pigmented. There's not a lot of fallout. Um... They're pretty good. I want to use... Obviously, I need to use more of the palette. I need to try out the shimmer formula. I've used the Hydra liners before. I created a whole rainbow look for Pride 2023 or 2022 because I didn't go this year. So, but I created a whole Pride look using just these Hydra liners. So I've used them before. I just haven't used them 
this month. So, which is why they look used and abused. But I have this deep navy blue hydro liner currently in my whole collection project pan. And I just, I haven't used it yet. But that's why this is in number seven. Because, like, for the eyeshadows, I've only used a couple shades and I haven't used the shimmers yet. So it's not... I can't place it as high as everything else, but I just, I feel like I like the palette better as a whole than the Cara Beauty one. Palette number six surprised me. This was my Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana palette. This was my palette bingo for the month. If you have not seen that, it was my collab with DW at Dub's Beauty Diary. I will leave that video uh, linked in the description box or in the eye if I remember to do that because I have to do that in post. Um, this is, oh God, mine is so hard to open, but this is what the color story looks like. I was wholesale before my palette bingo with DW going to declutter this palette in my palette declutter, which you guys haven't seen yet, but it's coming, I promise. My declutters are just slowly trickling out. I've done all of them, but they're just slowly coming out. But I was going to declutter this, and I'm so happy we did this palette bingo, because the mattes were so much more blendable than I remember them being. They were gorgeous on the eyes, because I love the shimmers in this palette. The shimmers are stunning, but I'm not going to keep a palette just for the shimmers when I have so many single shadows. The only one I will say that really is a dud is this red right here. As you can see, it's like crumbly. It keeps breaking. So I might honestly just take that shade out. But the rest of them are actually really good. I do need to try this teal again because I remember that one not being great. But I'm so happy that I didn't declutter this. Because I would have been really, really upset. But again, compared to everything else, it, it's lower. But I'm so happy we used that palette. Because otherwise it would have been gone. In spot number five, we have my ABH Riviera. This is... the All of these palettes, moving on, are in a project. Which is why you're going to see them. So, if you don't know, this is what she looks like. The mattes have so much kick up. They are so powdery, but they're so pigmented on the eyes. Not like unblendable. They're blendable. They're workable, but they are pigmented. They are pigmented. I used the brown and then these four shades. I hate that this is a matte white. It is a beautiful matte white. It is a pigmented matte white but I don't need a matte white I don't use a matte white I know there are so many people that like instead of a like skin toned shade they would they want a white like an actual white so they live for this kind of shade but I just I don't even care about a setting shade because I'm only using a setting shade in my blue blood palette because I'm trying to hit pan in it. I don't like setting my eyeshadow. I don't. I don't care. Maybe that's just, maybe that, maybe eventually I'll be into that. But I need to do one more look with it. And I'm obviously, I'm going to use the pinky purples. But I loved it. This was my favorite shade out of what I used. And that's Cabana. And it's because it's, it's that like grungy mustardy yellow. But can we talk about and the reason why this is higher than those three palettes the shimmers the shimmers they feel like ColourPop super shock shadows they are so wet so creamy so metallic so dreamy i will rhyme for you they are that good like this is a palette i would keep for just the shimmers like when the mattes are dead if the shimmers are still creamy, I'm keeping it. Plus, I like the packaging. I like the nautical vibes. Sue me. Now we got ColourPop. Back-to-back -back ColourPop. In spot number four, we have the Lost in Love palette, which looks like this. So I used 
this whole half. And then I used this glitter. Now, this does not come out as peachy as I wanted it. Like, these peachy shades, they're still pretty pink. And I found that true even in the Jelly Mutt shades that I got from this collection. That even the ones that look peachy are still very pink. And that upsets me. Because I get that it was a Valentine's Day collection, but this looks like it should be peachy. This is pretty peachy, but this is still pink. And that upsets me greatly. Like, I wanted peach to go with this, like, to have the contrast, and it's not. It's not. And there's just not a whole lot. Like, this, this works. This shade was wholesale gorgeous and really, like was the star of the look. This shade is trash. It had no sparkle, no shine. The glitter was nice. I love ColourPop glitters, and this is their, like, newer pressed glitter formula where it's not as, like, gritty. It's a more, like, fine glitter. So it was nice. It could have had a little more shine, in my opinion. Like, that's how I feel about this palette as a whole. Like, the shimmers could have more oomph, more shine. This one did. This one was really good. So I need to do another look using like this, the pur more purpley side, but I don't know. Mmm. Mmm is how I feel about that palette. But in spot number three, we have the Aurora Struck palette. Oh my gosh. So I used basically this whole row besides the dark teal matte. And then I use this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade right here. I did a taupe teal look. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, you will have already seen the looks because I post them day of, like the day that I do them. Not necessarily the day you see videos, but the day I do the look, I post them immediately as soon as I'm done because otherwise I'll forget what I put on my face. So you want to see the looks immediately you go follow my Instagram but I did a taupe look with like a teal shimmer and it turned out so flippin pretty I think I might want I think I might like taupe who am I but it turned out so pretty and I can't wait to use I think I need to do because I need to do one more look with Riviera Oh, I need a no pan left behind this. And I need to do two more looks with this palette. Because projects, projects, projects. So obviously I want to do like a pinky purple look. And then I want to do just a wholesale neutral look with this palette. So this is beautiful. Like this is the good color pop formula. The only thing that I didn't like was so I used spiraling hang on let me spiraling and night sky and don't oh no 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 dub my finger in it don't use them both at the same time and I dug my finger in that one too awesome don't use them at the same time because they're literally the same tone of shade because I used spiraling first to set my lid, and then I tried to put night sky on, and you could not see it at all. And I was like, cool, love that for me. So that was the only bad thing, but it wasn't a bad thing on that shade. That was a bad thing on me being a dummy. In spot number two, oh, in my dumminess, oh no, all of these palettes up until now, we've only used once. I was like, wait. <laughs> Spot number two, we have Unearthly Don't Be Jelly, which I'm almost done using this palette. This is what it's looking like. I was wearing away some of these little imprints. I still haven't used the shimmers, which is horrible. I used this six times in August which I'm very happy about because if you don't know, this is in the What Do the 2010s Say Project and I need to use the five matte shades 
five times each. I've hit my goal on this one, this one, and this one, I believe. I know I need to still do the teal and I need to still do this blue. I hate this blue. It's awful. It is an awful blue mat. But the other four mats, gorgeous. But yep, I've used this six times, and the reason this is number two is because I love the other mats. I love them. And I know I'm really going to like the shimmers. So. And I figured the palettes, the two palettes I've used the most for the month, like they have to be in spots number one and two. So spot number one, obviously, is my Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. And I've used this eight times in the month of August. Because look at that indent. That was already there. We don't talk about her. But like, I'm falling back in love with this palette. I'm learning to incorporate this in looks. Like, especially like I'm using, I'm setting my look, my eye with almost every look. Like, unless it's a palette that has a setting shade in it, I'm reaching into this palette for that. Um, if I'm doing even a slightly blue, purple, pink look, I'm coming into this palette and reaching into one, two, three shades. Like, I'm falling back in love with it. I, I want to hit a pan. If I don't hit a pan on that setting shade, it's called Wealthy. If I don't hit a pan on that in September, I'm going to be so upset because the pan is so deep. I don't know how deep these pans are, but like... We're getting such good usage. Like, I'm wearing away the crown imprint in Blue Blood. I'm wearing away the diamond in Cullinan. The little star in Mint Tea. You'll have to watch my Battleship update in September to figure out how many actual usage uses each shade has gotten. And then in September, you'll see if I have hit pan in anything. But... Those are the eight palettes that I used for August. That is my ranking. That is everything. Let me know if you liked seeing, like, me keeping track of how many times I've used each palette. Because I think that that was really helpful personally. But if you guys don't care, let me know. But otherwise, that is going to do it for today's video. And I appreciate you being here. Leave any comments, questions, concerns in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.